Hey guys, the excitement level that I have right now is through the roof. I just got all my packages in the mail and I just can't contain myself. Oh my gosh. First of all, let's get into what this video really was supposed to be about. So it's going to be about candle insurance. I just, as of today, purchased my candle insurance, which is definitely something that you should have prior to ever selling a candle. Um, but I just got it today. And so I'll talk about the coverage that I have. And it was super easy to get the to get candle insurance. I just called um, USAA because for those of you who don't know, which is probably everybody, because this is only my second YouTube video, I am active duty military. I've been in about eight years now. And yeah, so USAA and Navy Federal are kind of like the banks for most military folk. Um, so I went through USAA because I heard good things when it comes to insurance coverage for like renter's insurance and um, car insurance and just insurance. So I called them and got my candle insurance, but it wasn't through them. It's actually through Liberty Mutual and I'll get into that. But shout out to my BFF, Elena. She lives in PA. So right now I'm actually living in Oklahoma, military swag, you know. But she sent me, I, I texted her like, what, three days ago? I had a hankering for a soft pretzel. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, give me a soft pretzel. Me. <sighs> Let me just show y'all what she got me. I said soft pretzels and peanut chews, which peanut chews are like native to the PA Philly area which I didn't know that until I moved outside and until I moved out of that area. But I think if you look up like the history on a peanut chew, if you don't know what a peanut chew is, this is what it looks like. If you look up the history on a peanut chew, my hands are ashy, bruh. Um, it's like a, it's a Philly thing. So she got me, she got me peanut butter, take, ooh, candy cakes. Okay, girl. She got me that and she got me crimpets. And I have a, I would say like an, a 90% plant-based diet. Um, and I say that because I don't, I have not completely eliminated things that have milk and like milk powder baked into it. So I'm sure this has milk powder in it. I'm gonna eat it anyway, let me live. Yo, my hands are ashy, yo. I'm trying to keep them out of frame. Um, and then she got me frizzles and mustard I'm so excited oh my god okay so hold on I gotta get some lotion this is crazy I can't do this I'm back okay so that's that for my wonderful snack box that my friend got me and I would eat one right now on camera but I'm not going to do y'all like that because that's, I'm not sharing. So, you know, I don't want to just eat in y'all's face because you definitely can't have any. So, okay. The next box that I have here is my box from Brambleberry. I am not really a soap maker. I have made soap for my family before, but I am not a soap maker um, I don't have any intent right now on adding soap to my store, but if you ever are um, considering buying like a beginner's kit from Brambleberry, I can't open the box. A beginner's kit from Bam Brambleberry. Um, let's see. It literally comes with everything you need. Fragrance oil. So the fragrance oil, ooh. Eucalyptus, so I think whatever soap that I'm, look at those hands, girl. Um, whatever soap I'm making has eucalyptus on it, um, in it, I'm sorry. Um, polysorbate, it comes with everything you need. It is literally a kit to make what you need. So I got my Brambleberry, I will pick it up for you. I have two kits. Oh, and my address. Settle down. Um, it has two kits in it. I think I got, no, I lied. It has three kits. 
Yes, it has three kits in it. Anyway, I'll do like a Brambleberry unboxing thing at a later date. Let's get into this insurance. So I knew that I need candle insurance because I'm in a couple of Facebook groups and everybody talks about it, right? So candle insurance, what is candle insurance? It covers you, um, it protects you in selling a candle that someone is lighting on fire in their home and um, any damages that could be caused from your consumer good. So let's say someone sits their candle near their window, which they shouldn't do, which is drafty. Um, they sit their candy, candle near, near their window and their uh, curtain breezes over the candle, curtain lights on fire, house goes up in flames, right? They will hopefully not blame you, but if they wanted to, they could. That candle insurance is what covers the cost of their damages um, and any bodily harm. So that's your general liability coverage when it comes to candle insurance. So when I called, so like I said, I called USAA, spoke to an insurance rep. Um, USAA does not have candle insurance through USAA. They don't cover that. That's not something that they have, but they will get in, not necessarily get in touch, but they will, you know, be kind of the middleman in facilitating coverage with other parties. So Liberty Mutual is one of them. I can't speak on any other ones because Liberty Mutual just seemed to be the popular opinion. So, or the popular vote, I should say. So they basically set me up with general liability coverage. And also, if I can remember it, it was called E&O. And I can't, for the life of me, remember what E&O stands for. If I remember it, I'll... Um, somehow put it in the video somewhere but um basically that cover that coverage means as candle makers we are supposed to test every step so we test the wick we test the wax we test the fragrance oil we test the wick with the wax we test the wax with the fragrance oil. So there's a lot of different steps for a candle maker. If you're going to test the size of your wick in a certain vessel with a certain wax, you'll start there and then you'll add your fragrance oil and then repeat that step because different fragrance oils behave differently with different wicks and different wax. It's a lot of testing. But let's say you made a batch of candles, thought you tested it and didn't and it went out and it caused um, some sort of, there was some sort of malfunction or, you know, with the candle or, and it caused some sort of, um, some sort of damage that too covers you, um, in that aspect. Oh, I really wish I could remember what it was called. I can't believe I don't remember what it's called. Um, it's in my notes, which I can't get to cause this is on my phone. So that is, that are the two things that, um, the two types of coverage that your candle insurance will get you at least through Liberty Mutual. Now, the amount of coverage. So the general liability coverage, let me make sure I get this right because it's in my notes, like I said, and I'm not looking at my notes, um, is one million, up to $1 million per claim, but up to $2 million max per year. So you could have five claims um, that equal less than a million dollars each, but your cap for the year is $2 million. That is for the general liability coverage, and that includes bodily harm and property damage. Now, the e and O, I I hope it's E&O, the e and O e and <laughs> Now the E&O coverage is a little different. The E&O coverage is $100,000. Now this is just what I purchased. This is just was just my policy. For that, for the E&O, it was um, $100,000 per claim up to $100,000 per year. And then it was $100,000 per claim up to $200,000 per year, and then $100,000 per claim up to $3,000 per year. And that obviously would adjust your uh, premium. Um, I chose the pretty much the same as my 
general liability coverage. So I chose $100,000 um, per claim, um, up to $200,000 a year, and a year, and that covers, um, you know, if there was some sort of neglect on my part where I didn't test something and it caused some sort of, you know, damage or something like that um, in someone's home. So that was pretty, candle insurance is, it seems pretty, you know, scary, I guess. It was to me when I was on the phone with the woman, I was, I kind of felt like, oh my God, what am I about to purchase? Am I about to be locked in? You know, it was, it's $86 a month, a month for me. And that's only because I chose both coverages. Um, and it really wasn't that big a deal. We were on the phone for maybe an hour, but it, there's a lot of questions that they need to ask you. What are your, from everything from, what would you do if there was some sort of like recall? on, you know, a batch of your candles, you know, how would you go about rectifying that situation? And you let them know, you know, cause right now I sell on Etsy. So Etsy, there's an option for every order for you to print out like a, um, a receipt for yourself, basically for your tracking purposes. And on that receipt, you have your items, you have the breakdown of costs, um, you have the person's email address, email address and things of that nature. So it's, it'll be really easy to get in contact with people um, per cent. You know, if you're having some sort of issue, I would hope that it was with one cent and not all candles. Um, but even if it is with all candles, it should be really simple to get back in touch with people who you have sold those candles to. So you just let them know how you basically run your business. Are you going to have other people working for you? Um, is it a home-based business? Do you have a store? You know, pretty much, pretty a uh, normal question that you can definitely answer yourself. It's not anything that you have to, you know, be aware of before you make the call to get your candle insurance. You know, they're pretty simple questions that are really easy to answer because you know your business. Um, and that's pretty much it for the candle insurance. Uh, there's different prices and things like that. Like I said, I got both the coverages because it's better to have and not need than to need and not have. So I chose to get both just to cover all bases because you really just never know. I'm starting to notice that more people are starting to share my links and my business and things like that. So I wanted to make sure that I was covered in all aspects. Um, I really hope that this video helped someone in some way when it comes to candle insurance. I definitely think that it is something that everyone should have prior to selling any candle. Even if it's a wax melt, even if it's a wax melt, get candle insurance because you just don't want to chance it. So that is pretty much it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.